Exclusive right here on Balls TV, and I'm here with Olympian world champ, the 400 meter diva, <laughs> Miss Natasha Hastings. How you doing, sweetheart? Just awesome on there. I'm doing good. How are you? Hey, I'm blessed, and yes, I, I'm country. Hey, you gotta bear with me. But look, opening up the season right here in Houston, Texas, my hometown, in the 60 meter dash, ran at 626, 27. Sweetheart, I'm a, I'm a female. I ran 725. Seven. My, excuse me, you're 725 and I do the sports. But you look very excited, you look very smooth. And to be a 400 meter athlete, strictly, you did very well. Thank you, I'm, I'm really excited. Um, I went into the race without any expectations. Um, kind of going into the season with a different mindset. I'm, I'm trying not to put too much pressure on myself. So to open up with a PB first race, I'm super excited. You were telling me a little earlier that uh, you wanted to mix it up this season. Yeah. You know, the outdoor season, there's no indoor championships this year, so we got Miles Coward for the outdoor season. So you're going to mix it up with a little sprints and a little quarters in here. How is that? Is that really different for you from the from the previous years? It's not much different. Um, I've always been a quarter miler that the better I'm doing at the shorter events, the better I, I'm doing at the 400. So it's a little bit different in that I'll be doing a lot more open events. Um, in the past I've done more relays, but now I'm going to do more open events and focus on myself and, you know. But it's, it's still going to be same old Tasha. I'm still going to be focusing on the four, but I'm going to be working on the shorter events too. So I believe we're going out of the country next week or in February, I believe. No, I'm leaving on Wednesday, so in just a few days. That's why I'm trying to hurry to get back to Austin so I can get my life together before I get out of here. Glad you came to Houston. Houston is one of the hottest places in the United States. Go Texans, by the way. Oh, boo Texans. <laughs> no, I'm glad I came. Obviously, it was a trip well worth it, so I'm happy to be here. So tell me some of the new events that we got going on overseas. Man, okay, first stop is Glasgow. I'm gonna be running the 400 there. Um, then I go to, I believe somewhere in Germany, I'll be running a 60. And then I'll probably run a couple of 60s there, get a couple rounds in. Then I will go to Moscow and I'll run another 400 there, I believe. And then I have two more races, I think in Paris and Austria and I'll do some 200s there. And then I'll come home and I'll go home to New York, the Armory Milrose, and I'll run my final 400 for the season there. So, for indoor season. So, that'll be my indoor season. That's a good look, and we wish you nothing but the best. Now, this past Olympics, 2012, didn't finish like we wanted to. It didn't happen. I missed it by one spot, but it, it happens. Move on to the next. 2016, God willing, that'll be for me. Yeah, we wish you the best on that. And I believe, if you don't know, follow her on the Twitter, Natasha Hastings on Twitter. Uh, and, and actually the websites. I want to bring something up again. You, uh, off the track, you have an online jewelry site. Tell me about that and how is that going? What direction you really want to go with? It's going pretty good. Um, I want it to be something affordable, something trendy. Um, I'm going to mix it up. A lot of it is going to be my taste, but I will mix it up for, you know, a little something for everybody, all age groups. Um, the price point is about 5 to $35, so it's, it's something there for everybody. Uh, the website is spikesugar.biz. Um, kind of going through a little bit of changes right now. The website will probably, you'll see some changes to it soon, but it's doing pretty good and I'm excited about it. Everybody knows I'm a girly girl, so that was only the right thing for me to do. That's where the diva comes <laughs> into play. Do y'all have anything for the men? Like, do you got anything coming up for us? I might, I don't know, I might go sc scoop. Yeah, but I do have some male friends that's been like, yo, Tosh, what's up with this? You know, we like to wear jewelry too, so eventually I will be adding some men's pieces to it. We appreciate you this interview once again with the 400 Diva right here in Houston, Texas on Boss TV. Anything, last words, any shout outs you want to say? Because you're very excited. What, you, what are we about to go do? Um, well, I'm going to give a shout out to my coach. He's been patient with me. And, um, you know, it's been a year since I've been with him, and I'm excited again. I don't, who, who opens up their season with a PB? I can't, I can't get over that. So shout out to my coach, shout out to my family back at home in Atlanta, my mom and my brother, my training partners back in Austin, those that are up here, 
and um, everybody that's rooting for me. 2013, let's get it. It's going down. Appreciate shout out to the Under Armour family. Oh, yeah. And can't forget the sponsors, Under Armour, all day. You done doing any new commercial? Um, well, we got some. I did um, some promo ads for them a couple weeks ago, so that should be up in the spring. Um, probably some online stuff, um, but I don't know if I'll be on any TV stuff. I would love to be, but we'll see what they have for me. You know who you're talking to? <laughs> we on Boss TV on Comcast. Hey. Let's go. Who am I talking to? What'd you say? Boss TV on Comcast. You, tr you tried to put me on the spot. <laughs> Everybody watching Boss TV on Comcast. Yeah. Matter of fact, I thought I was going to make this interview shorter, but look, it's making it longer. But look, oh, hold up. I saw a few months ago this magazine, right? The cover of a magazine. You got a little spontaneous on us in the blocks. So, that was like a year ago. Exactly. 12 months, that's some kind of month. So. <laughs> yes. Tell me, really tell me how, tell me about that. And, Kind of, it's a different side of you. Yeah. Um, I thought it was hot, amazingly hot, but at the same time, strictly professional, and uh, it was a little different. You don't really too see too many female, especially track and field athletes, going into another uh, entity. Yeah, um, yeah. I did the body issue. <laughs> um, I did have to strip down to everything but my spikes, um, but it, it was a good experience. Um, you know, people are going to have their opinions, but for me, I felt that it was something that was tastefully done. I'm very proud of my body. Um, I'm an athlete, so naturally I'm muscular, I'm hard, but, you know, I'm proud of my body and I'm proud to show it, and, and I feel like it was well received, and um, ESPN did a great job. The whole issue was awesome, and I, it turned out great for me. I don't have any complaints. I'll do it again if they ask me to. <laughs> Make sure y'all sign that check. <laughs> yeah, cut the check. <laughs> well, we're going to end that for everything Natasha Hastings. NatashaHastings.com on Twitter and on Facebook. Net, dot net. Oh, dot net, dot net. Make sure dot net. Twitter backslash Natasha Hastings. I'm also on Facebook, so check me out there too. And don't forget SpikeSugar.biz. And make sure y'all mention her too. She might just reply thanks, but now since I'm getting her more motivated to reply even better, she might say hi, thank you, and say love. You know, maybe I just did get the thanks. No. You hyping it up. Well, but anyway, we we'll appreciate you. Natasha Hastings, Mike Cap exclusive right here on Boss TV. What's up, everybody? This is Natasha Hastings, the 400-meter diva, and you're watching me with Mike Cap on Boss TV.